Hey everyone, it's Gunsniping, and in today's GTA video, I'm going to show you how to make the most money using nothing more than the CEO, VIP, and biker businesses. That's right, in the first part of this how-to guide, I'm going to show you the equipment that you'll need for both modes, and I'll be discussing how to properly set up your biker businesses. If the information I'm providing was any useful, kindly hit that like button. It would mean so much for this channel, and, it'll be, and your support would be greatly appreciated. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So the first thing you'll need is a few weapons and vehicles needed for the businesses. For the weaponry, you'll need the following. You'll need the AP pistol or a pistol equivalent such as the machine pistol or the pistol .50. You'll also need the special carbine with the silencer on it for the for those specific biker businesses that require it you to be silent the heavy shotgun or the assault shotgun doesn't matter which one I prefer the assault but to you it's your own pr personal preference on which shotgun you'll use you'll also need both the heavy sniper and the regular sniper and for the regular sniper you'll need the silencer on it you'll also need the Sticky bombs and proximity mines, you'll need both. The compact grenade launcher from the bikers update. And lastly, you'll need an RPG or the homing rocket. Doesn't matter if you're not at the level for the RPG, then go ahead and get the, uh, get the uh, homing launcher. Now in terms of vehicles, you'll need the armored Karen Karuma, the Nagasaki Buzzard Attack Chopper, and lastly, the Buckingham Vestra. Now to unlock these vehicles, for the Karuma, you'll need to play through the Flika Bank Job Heist. That's the very first heist that's like the tutorial, so if you don't have it, you can randomly find at least one other person, complete the entire heist, and you'll unlock that car. And it will cost around $525,000 without the upgrades. Now for the Buzzard, you'll need to reach at least level 40 for this so unless you're not at that level yet go do some missions go do some death matches if you're watching this video at this time in November they're doing a double money and RP deal with the uh, with the kill quota adversary mode that just came out along with the Yuga classic van and, and now as for the the Vestra that's already unlocked for you it came out for the for the business update at least for the CEO aspect and mostly for the biker aspect the armor Karuma and the buzzard are gonna be your best friends at least doing the CEO buying missions as well as doing VIP missions just in case you're like running low on money uh, the Vestra is gonna cost you 950,000 again the armor Karuma is gonna cost you 525,000 without any other upgrades and the uh, buzzard attack chopper is going to cost you about one million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And for the bikers stuff, you'll need at least a bike. So the cheapest bike there is not the one I'm riding. The cheapest one is the Dinka Akuma, which is about nine thousand dollars. Okay, now that you have your equipment and some spending money from either doing heists, contact missions, or whatever, it's time to get your MC Clubhouse. What you want to do here is open up your phone and click on the Maze Bank foreclosure site link. Here you can buy any MC clubhouse that are in both Los Santos, Blaine County, and in Polito Bay. The cheapest one is the Great Chaparro Clubhouse on Route 68. Without any of the upgrades whatsoever, it's about 200000 But if you want to upgrade it with all the best stuff like the uh, like the stop type of style clubhouse emblem you know all these you're looking about around 1,662,000 for all the best stuff but once you purchase your clubhouse you'll be able to become an MC president through through the interactive menu right here just like with the CEO status you'll be able to purchase an off when you purchase your office and also your MC Clubhouse acts as a garage for your motorcycles. Unfortunately, the Clubhouse can only hold motorcycles and not any other vehicles. 
which is a good thing in, in a sense that way w you can open up some spots in your other like your other garages now with your MC clubhouse you can now buy your biker businesses as stated in my top 7 money making legit video which I'll leave a link in the description below you can buy up to 5 businesses through the open road website on the computer in your clubhouse which I'll show if you're not a uh, MC when you hit the button it'll automatically put you into an MC club president stats so so yeah here's my five businesses that I'm showing you can you, you can have five but you can only have one per class there's the cocaine lockup which is this one the meth lab counterfeit cash the wheat farm and the document forgery office the location of these offices can be placed in various locations in San Andreas and will pay the same regardless where you have them so you can have your businesses set up in Polito Bay or in Blank County or in Los Santos but if you want to maximize your profits then you'll need to buy the individual upgrades that each business will have they'll have employee employee training equipment and security you'll be spending at least over a million in upgrades per business but if you want, just want to want that one business that pays the most profit, then the cocaine lockup would be the best one. The cheapest one that will, the cheapest one that you can buy at this time, is the Alamo C one. It costs nine hundred and seventy-five thousand, and with the upgrades, you're looking at a little over two million dollars for this business. Now that you got your biker business and you've done the first mission to gather a full batch of supplies, it's time to make money for your business. Since all the biker businesses are mostly off hands, meaning that regardless if you're in a public or private lobby and when you don't have your MC mode activated, your business will continue to make product until you either run out of supplies or until your product bar is full. If you run out of supplies, or have a full product you'll need to go into a public lobby and either resupply or sell either one but if your business is out of supplies then you can re then it's time to resupply it on the computer in the office you have to when you resupply you'll have two options you can either buy the supplies or you can steal them for stealing them it'll fill up one bar at a time so if you just got one section out of the bar empty, that's fifteen thousand. Two empty sections, it's thirty. Three empty sec sections, it's forty-five. Four sections, it's sixty. And if the final section is either red or the entire supply bar is gone, it's seventy-five thousand, as shown right here in my current business. If you're short on cash after buying your weapons, your vehicles, your clubhouse. The business itself and the upgrades for it then stealing supplies will be your best bet stealing the supplies won't cost you a thing and the more people you have within your MC clubhouse a person 7 plus you then the more supplies you'll get to fill the supply bar now the total amount of time for your product bar to finish filling up will vary from business to business for the forgery business, it'll take 3 hours, 16 minutes with one resupply run. For the weed farm, it'll take 6 hours, 12 minutes with one resupply run. For the counterfeit cash, it'll take 5 hours, 42 minutes with two resupply runs. For the meth lab, it'll take 6 hours, 38 minutes with two resupply runs. And the cocaine lockup will take 4 hours, 24 minutes to fill up with one resupply run. Now as for selling, again just like resupplying, you'll get two options, one for both one for domestic and one for cross the map sales. When you enter a business on the bottom right hand of the screen, you'll see a you'll see your product bar, your supply bar, and the total amount of profit that business will make at the current level. When the product bar is full, the product profit number will show you how much you'll make if you do a domestic sale when it comes across the map sales 
you'll make between 1.34 or through 1.5 times more money than the domestic sale. Again, it'll depend on the business. As mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter where you set up your business because they'll pay the same whether your business is in Palito Bay or in Los Santos. Now the profits I'm about to mention are for businesses that are fully upgraded. For the forgery office, it's 86000 for the domestic sales, 126000 for across the map. For the weed farm, it's 168000 for domestic sales and 252000 for across the map. For the counterfeit cash, it's 196000 for domestic, 294000 for the map. Across, for across the map. For the meth lab, it's 238000 for domestic and 357000 across the map. And finally, the cocaine lockup. It's 280000 for domestic and 420000 for across the map. Now, when it comes to the difficulty of the cell missions for the biker stuff, the domestic stuff is not too bad, but for the cross the map sales, they are to an extent easy to do when you're doing them solo. While some can be done well within the 30 minute mark, there's a, there there're going to be some that will come down to the wire, like the uh, like the ones where you're flying the Dodo seaplane, the tr driving the trash master, or trying to uh, or driving the bagger to four locations. Or the um, or going out in the sea with a dinghy, hitting the five locations with the three separate boats. However, there's one in particular that is impossible to do solo, and that's the sales mission using the post OP Boxville vans. If you don't know what these vans look like, go play the hum the Pacific Standard high setup, the very first one, and you'll see the one I'm talking about. Anyway. These vehicles are super slow, especially when going through Vinewood Hills, where the speed will drop down to a crawl. And if that's not enough, each stop you go to, you have to get out of the van and hand deliver the package to the door, causing you press precious seconds. While this mission is barely doable with two people, three is recommended is the recommended number to do this mission without any problems. If you're by yourself or you feel that the mission you're doing is going to fail, simply quit the game or find another lobby. When you do this, your product will return to your business and you'll only lose half a bar in the fifth section of the product bar. Just simply let that rebuild itself and try again later. Anyway, thank you so much for watching part one of this part two guide. In the next video, I'll be breaking down how to set up your CEO business right down to the cost of the special cargo items. I'll also go into detail how, how to use both the CEO and MC business together. And as, a fun, as an added bonus, I'll show you how on, on the PS4 how to make your own private public lobby using only the PS4 settings. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe for more GTA videos or other videos like this. With that out of the way, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in part two of this guide.